In this lesson, we'll configure and initialize Firebase to our application. So what is Firebase? Firebase is a developer's platform by Google that helps developers create mobile and web applications. It offers many backend services from authentication, cloud messaging, and acts as a real-time database and also a hosting platform. So there are two ways to set up Firebase to application. There is using the Firebase console, the website that you've seen, and there's also the Firebase CLI, and we're going to be using the Firebase CLI. So to install, I have shared the link down below, the link depending on the operating system that you have. In our case, we're running curl sl and running the HTTPS firebase.tools to get the Firebase CLI. Next, we are logging in with Firebase. Uh, use your own credentials and then once you're in we're going to proceed to activating the flutter cli flutter fire cli by running that pub global activate flutter flyer flutter fire cli after that now we are set we're going to head back to our project and run and initiate or configure our a firebase project that will be linked to our application by running flutter fire configure and it's going to go through a workflow and this workflow is where we're able to specify to create a new project and also specify the platforms that we're going to use and also we're going to specify um, mainly those two if you have a project already existing you'll see you'll be able to see the list of projects that you have so this is equivalent to heading to the website itself and uh, the console section and be creating manually so there, that's why there are two options so in our case we have created an application we're going to create a new application uh it has refused the first name so we're trying to uh use another name to create same thing so let's do another round um and give it another name so we'll give it my user authentication app project let's wait and see so it will create a new firebase project for us and with that it will ask us which platforms we want to configure in our case it's, it's mobile development we'll configure android and ios so we'll unselect mac os and web And it's creating for us for both platforms and we say yes so it will update our pubbuild.gradle files in the android section so we are com we have done so this is the same concept as doing it manually on console so if you head over to firebase console you'll find the new project that we've created through the fi firebase cli so next we're going to add the install the core plugin for firebase which is flutter pub add firebase core and then we're going to head over to so the flutter file configure you tend to whenever you update something you we it's good to actually run the flutter file configure just to make sure that you are working on the right project but since we already configured it just a few seconds ago we are still good so let's proceed to import uh, the core plugin And we'll also import a file called firebaseoptions.dat, which was created in the process of running Flutter Fire Configure. It's the one that contains some of the contents from Google Service Info.plist for iOS apps and Google Services.json for Android apps. So next we're going to initialize our Firebase using the def default Firebase options which is exported by the configuration file which is firebase options dot dot and it's going to pick dot current platform so if you're running with ios it will pick for ios configurations if you're running with android 
it will do that then we're going to pass the widgets flat up binding dot ensure initialize what this does it's just a bridge between the flutter framework and the dart engine so it's, it's responsible for initializing all the code that's before the before when the application starts that is before the run up function so next we are we are running the flutter firebase auth and then we're going to import it in onboarding google great so let's ensure that also the Google sign-in provider is enabled in Firebase console. The, the configure CLI does not do that. So heading to our project, going to authentication section. Naming our project. defining our email and making sure that it's enabled and with that in the next lesson we'll now focus on the platform integration process on android and ios